I have seen some things in this video that we're about to show you only here on Fox 2 is absolutely captivating. The way that these neighbors, just strangers, banded together to help save these two little girls is unbelievable. And to think, as you said, Dave, this fire was set on purpose and the guy suspected of doing it has a history of this kind of thing. Take a look. Neighbors clustered together a mattress at their feet, looking up five stories to an eight year old girl. You're about to see jump for her life. She hurls herself out the window, caught, not a scratch on her, still trapped above her 14 year old sister and mom fire blocking their only exit. The door, the window is the only option. The eight year old piling up clothes on the mattress to try and cushion her family's falls. Her sister comes down next in a panic, hitting the mattress hard, breaking both ankles and her wrist. Other injuries too, but she lived. Many times people who try to jump out windows that high, um, it's a different outcome. Detroit Fire Commissioner Charles Sims says it was all caught by green light cameras positioned outside their apartment building in the new center neighborhood in Detroit earlier this month. Inside security cameras capturing the sinister side to this story. 43 year old Marion Scruggs allegedly dousing the outside of the woman and her daughter's door with gasoline, lighting a cigarette, then using it to set it all on fire. Scruggs apparently used to be in a relationship with the woman. This person and tried to kill not just the whole family, but in and everybody that was in that building. But what happened outside is what they're focused on. The neighbors catching that little girl. This man ripping off his own sweatshirt to keep the 14 year old warm, then carrying her to safety. The Detroit firefighters who used their ladder to save mom and Detroit police catching Scruggs within 24 hours after he lit this cigarette. And here's a, a living example of those three coming together and saving the lives of, of people who were victimized by domestic violence. Scruggs has a history of domestic violence. We learned back in 2019 he was charged for lighting a girlfriend's home on fire purposely to trap her dogs inside. One of them died. Unclear if it's the same victim this time. Commissioner Sims says for these folks, instinct kicked in out here, saying most people do want to do good. You know, some people don't need the, the attention or the accolades, but we want to show them that not only are firefighters, EMTs and, and police officers are heroes, but even citizens out there in the neighborhood, they're heroes as well. Eight year old little girl and her mom, they are OK, but the 14 year old girl we talked about this story, two broken ankles, a broken wrist and other issues, but she is recovering the tough part. They will have to find a, a new place to live and especially around the holidays. Absolutely difficult there. We're thinking of that family now is for those good Samaritans that stepped in. They helped. They walked away and didn't want any credit to the fire commissioner and the police chief. They want to recognize those folks. So if you know who stepped in and helped, they're asking them to come forward. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. Yeah, you can't even imagine the desperation that that family must have been going through to hurl themselves out of the window there. Do we know what's going to happen next for the suspect in all of this? Suspect has been charged, charged and arraigned a list of felonies and he has those priors. I have a feeling he is not going to be getting out anytime soon, but uh, you got the video there. It's a pretty damning case against him. It certainly is. Thank you, Jessica.